I'm very pleased to be uh, in this session with uh, hearing all the uh, wonderful stories from my uh, other speakers. Uh, indeed, how Google Cloud is being uh, utilized. And I thought it is important for us at Philips as a healthcare sector to also implement some of those things real life. So indeed, this is indeed a good learning session for me also. I thought that would be interesting to share some insights. I'm the group CIO of Philips. Uh, we have uh, uh, three, four businesses that we are handling in personal health, connected care, uh, and really trying to bring together diagnostics, imaging, and other applications uh, to the patient's uh, medical industry altogether. Uh, but more important is how do we work effectively with our partners so that we can all make healthy living a success. Doesn't that appeal to each one of you? Healthy living, right? It's about you and I and how we can do different things during this journey. So what is interesting to, uh, to me is really getting on the plate, how are we leveraging the cloud? So we have something called Health Suite Digital Platform that was implemented a couple of years back as we started thinking through the journey overall that there is a full ecosystem in the healthcare sector of insurers, of payers, of hospitals, diagnostic centers, and of course, self-care. When a patient is at times in the senior citizen stage or is in the ICU where they do not wish to be in the hospital, they just want to be at home, in the comfort zone of the home. How can we bring the services together? And all of these things prompted us to think about what is, what is called always on. So you need to have access to good healthcare services and also have the ability to give the feedback loop as such. And that's where the entire cloud journey began for us where we said the personalized connected services is something that will allow us for that feedback loop to happen. And indeed, when working through the developments that the cloud providers like Google are giving to us, I think this is wonderful. So if I look at it, not only is as an industry domain in healthcare that we are uh, thinking through these kinds of problems and use cases, but also the fact that around us, technology is changing significantly. And if you see the horizons, right from horizon one to maybe the nth horizon, and the chatbots, the cloud-based uh, ecosystem can provide, for example, the deep learning that is needed in order to give an insight uh, which, which will allow for the technology or the smart technology to be really leveraged in a healthcare env environment is immense. So if, if I just take one of these examples of uh, smart technology where AI bot services is going to be extremely useful is in the clinical environment where there is a help uh, that is needed. And if we are able to take up the symptoms from a patient and holistically create a database, that allows that particular data to be shared with various uh, service providers, physicians, and hospitals, and make the electronic medical record, which is called the EMR sector, to be a reality. That would be a big success for all of us. It's, it's really having real-time information insights that is, re, uh, that is needed. We even think about you know, digital coaches, concepts of digital coaches, where um, you know, we have a product which is called Sonicare Toothbrush. I don't know how many of you use that, uh, but I hope, yeah, that's one show, good show of hand from Tariq, there you go. Can I have a show of hands for the Sonicare Toothbrush? Excellent, excellent, yes, yes, that's what we needed, right? So we get that feedback loop going from the toothbrush, whether you're doing a good job of covering all those ends in your mouth or not, and making sure that those insights can be fed back through the cloud environment, no matter which part of the world you're living in. That's real life, day-to-day -day type of changes that we can bring to you through these digital coaches. 
I'll take another example, and I love it because e-commerce has been growing like anything. And when you think about e-commerce, I always think about, okay, we are, say you are dealing with an asthma patient, and an asthma patient, say, needs uh, effectively to be treated, you need air humidifier. So if the patient data for the asthma patient can be collated, you know, as a human being, there are different components that have to be collated from a data insight standpoint, and a recommendation engine to be connected through the e-commerce online platform where recommendation would be to buy an air humidifier or to leverage a, something like an air humidifier, then that connects the whole solution dot. And that's the journey we are towards, and I bet cloud providers like Google would really be very, very helpful to all of us. And I'm extremely thankful to, of course, and thus the, the platform that has been launched because then we don't have to think about you know, constraints from what kind of a hybrid cloud environment we are carrying. I, I think IoT is a much used word. What I'd like to introduce to you is IOMT, which is Internet of Medical Things. And this whole ecosystem of smart devices with the medical things, because a medical industry, if I consider this side as the medical side and this side as the IoT side, both have to merge and provide that connected solution. And so that's where, say, the connectivity is about not just hardware and software design, but actually bringing the innovation services. And for healthcare, I, I would say that this is so much needed. Our whole connected healthcare um, system, like in an uh, ICU, for example, you know how you see the seven monitors in an ICU, all the inputs and insights from those seven monitors, the data has to be connected to real-time software and provided to the phys physicians, right? And so finally, I'd like to say that the Future Health Index findings are of great value. Uh, we clearly see that for us to be very high in the Future Health Index of what Philips does, uh, we do see that cloud is there and is very much needed with all the enhancements of AI and machine learning as such in order to really give connected care, this whole connected care technology, a successful value add initiative for each one, us, one of us to leverage. So I look forward to this journey with all our cloud providers and thank you, uh, Tariq, for inviting us to share some of our needs in the healthcare industry and I look forward to working with many of us together. Thank you.